the beginning, uh, you started to write on a Wattpad. Mm -hmm. uh, and so how everything happened from you basically writing on a Wattpad, being a fanger, and then everything getting published? It felt like really fast for me. In the beginning, I was just reading on Wattpad for a couple months. I used to write imagines, like One Direction imagines on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, maybe I'll just write one, like, or a couple chapters or something today until one of them updates because there were two that they were updating, but not like every day or anything. Mm -hmm. So then I wrote the first chapter and I was like, whoa, that was so fun. <laughs> the fandom really just took it and like, marketed it without really knowing that what they were doing and I didn't know what was happening and then it kept getting bigger and bigger and then now it's interesting because most of my readers now aren't like One Direction fans they're just like book mm. fans or and then it got published and I didn't even think about other countries I was really only thinking like oh I'm gonna have a book in Barnes and Noble mm. in the US I'm so happy but then it just got <laughs> so much bigger than I could have ever imagined. The day that it released, Barnes & Noble was literally like selling out of my books, which is like, even now it feels crazy. And so then my husband and I spent the whole day calling Barnes & Nobles like all over the country to see who sold out. <laughs> and a lot of them were like, no, we don't have any more. And then I remember one in Ohio, she was so irritated, like from people asking her about it, that she's like, we don't have it. I already said, it. I was like, <laughs> Okay, but Hello. I didn't tell her like I wrote it or anything. I was just like, okay, sorry, and hung up. Uh, and do you think it was uh, it would have been harder for you to write if you thought it was going to be a book, so it was going to be long, or mm -hmm. uh, that it was easy to write on Wattpad, just chapter by chapter? I definitely think that. I think one, if I thought about writing a book, it would have seemed like I can't write a book. Mm -hmm. Like it would have seemed silly, and like why would like why do I think I could write a book? So it felt like less pressure, and it just felt fun. So you've written fan fictions. And and do you feel like this genre is kind of underrated? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, even speaking as like a reader of fan fiction, it's so underrated. And it's so funny to me because everyone seems to have, I think it's shifting a little. I feel like every time, every couple months it shifts more and more, like it's becoming more like acceptable. But I remember in the beginning people kept saying like, well, you know, fan fiction isn't real literature. And I'm like, well, for one, like, who said I want to write real literature? I don't give a shit about writing real literature. I want to write entertainment. Like, I don't care about, like, winning prizes or, like, I'm just happy to be able to write and make a living from it. But also, I've read books that are written by, you know, a 17-year-old girl that's a fan fiction that is way better than, you know, real literature that I've read. I saw that you were also writing on your phone. Uh, so do you feel like there's a new way of writing that is coming? Definitely. I think um, in a lot of ways, not only just writing on the phone, because honestly, when I'm writing my, like nothing more, I haven't been writing that much of it on my phone, mm -hmm. just because it's so much easier for my editor, <laughs> for me not to do that, for me to like have a Word document and then put it to Wattpad instead of the other one, it was the other way around. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing I had, the only copy of my work I had was on Wattpad. Like I never even thought mm -hmm. about putting it in a document. And now I'm like, I'm so happy Wattpad didn't crash or something because I would have lost <laughs> everything I had. It nowhere else like nowhere else at all but now I use my phone less but I still use it but I think it's becoming more entertaining for people to read like episodic writing instead of you know knowing everything that's gonna happen and I think for young people especially we're always on our phones mm -hmm. so I think that it's definitely a new way to write in like the newest way and yeah. so at the end of all my videos I say to book lovers to take care of your books. Uh, so how do you take care of your own books? They're all on shelves. Um, I love, that's like my favorite part of my house is my bookshelves and I have a whole like wall of them and I Whoa. can't stop buying books and recently I started collecting like people because I write about Wuthering Heights and Pride and Prejudice readers will bring me copies of them mm -hmm. to the signings like one girl brought me an old, like, I've never even seen this cover, even on the internet. Of It was like her great grandma's copy of Wuthering Heights. Ooh. And so that one, I'm like, no one touches it. Like, don't even look at it. And then after that, I was like, I should start collecting these. So now I just keep, like, every time I see a new cover, which is a lot for classics because they're public yeah. domain, and I just keep ordering them. And my husband's like, how many books are you going to order of the same book but I have a lot of books but I can't take care of them a lot and mostly I read on my phone now like on iBooks so mm -hmm. my book books are like treasure like I don't I'm like don't touch them don't look at them don't breathe by them <laughs> okay yeah. well thank you thanks <laughs>